What's going on guys? How you guys doing? This is Mario Burr here. Just woke up. It's 11.30 a.m. Walked out my bedroom right there. And, you know, as I was laying there, you know, I said I was praying and then I was uh, got into the scriptures. And then after that, I got onto Facebook and I seen a post there that was so inspirational to me. And it was from Natasha Gates, not direct from her to me. I, w I believe we're cousins, you know, um, based on we because I don't know. Don't it don't matter. But um, I seen a post that highly inspired me where she was talking about how she had uh, she was working this job that she didn't like. She wanted to get out of this job. OK. And she was just, you know, um, contemplating on it uh, for for a while, you know, praying about it, um, you know, just so frustrated about the current position that she was in. And, you know, needless to say, you know, the doors of opportunity opened up for her and another uh, a company offered her a position. I hope I got this right. So uh, another company offered her a position of, of the field that she's in, you know, and this is where she always wanted to be, according to the post that I was reading. But needless to say, it sounds like she's so doggone happy, you know. And so what I want to do is I want to give big ups to you because it caused me to reflect back on my life, you know. You know, I've been out of my job since October of 2013, and ever since then, my life has been awesome. I ain't want to get all crazy because, you know, I ain't want to scare um, any of y'all away, you know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of y'all probably think I'm crazy, but my life has been awesome, you know what I'm saying? And the, the thing about it is the reason why I decided to get out of that because I was just like Natasha. I was where she was at. My transition was not from a job to another job to get to, you know, that, you know, dream career that I always wanted. But mine was to transition from a job to me working my business strictly online from home, you know, and I, 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 I had all I had the same fears. I, I mean, I had fears like everybody else do. I was I was afraid of the unknown. And then I had to reflect back on who I was. You know, my wife was the one that um, caused me to uh, have this reflection of who I was, being a child of God, first and foremost, um, having the confidence. You need to believe that you can do it. If you don't, you need to take my belief because I believe you can do it, husband, her talking to me and so forth. And I took that encouragement, which meant everything to me. And I stepped out and I started working my business one hour a day. On my lunch break, I took and, and from that whole lunch break, it was an hour and I didn't even use up the whole hour to do what I did. I learned I got into the uh, some trainings that taught me how to manage my time, taught me exactly what I need to be doing, what I need to be focusing on to generate income in my business and to help others to generate income. And by me helping others to do that, I started generating income in one day. That allowed me to eventually quit my job when I had my first one hundred dollar day and it moved to a five hundred dollar day. No, first I had a hundred dollar day. Then I had a, um, a seven hundred dollar day. Then it went to another five hundred. I remember this stuff in order. Then a thousand dollars. And in between that, I was, you know, having twenty five dollar days. But needless to say, my wife was the one that pushed me and said, baby, if you could do this in this little bit amount of time. I'm sorry. <laughs> in this little bit amount of time that you have, how much more if you was to do it in two hours, three hours? And here I am now. I'm home. You know, I'm, I'm working. I'm working my um, dream career. I have my dream home. I'm driving dream my dream dream car, which we, my wife is like, hey, baby, let's go trade it in. Let's get something even better. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I love my car. <laughs> You know, but that's how things is going, you know, so I just wanted to uh, take this time out and share this with you. But and, and, you know, another great thing about it is it's not about, you know, um, you leaving your job. OK, because maybe you like your job. My wife loves her career. And she was like, I don't care if you make one hundred thousand dollars a month. That's what she want to do. She loves doing what she does. She has a dream job. You know what I'm saying? And I big ups to her. So what I want you to do right now is. If you want to join me, if you want to be able to make that transition, do what I did. I've been able to quit my job. Like I said, working an hour a day. I have a link down below. I'm going to show you how I did it with the system. 
Okay, I put a free training of myself. You know, the trainings of the things that I did, the things that you need to have in place. It's simple. It's all laid out for you. Click that link down below and get started. Watch those videos right then and there. The short, right to the point, and then take the action. I did the same thing. I was afraid. I was nervous. I was afraid of the unknown. I struggled a little bit, but you know what? I persevered. It's no different from you working your job and you getting frustrated. Are you just going to just walk off that job because you frustrated? Are you just going to quit? You know, but yet here's the thing. You stay there and you continue building someone else's dreams. But when it comes to your dreams, are you just going to walk away because you encounter a little bit of frustration or even a little bit of a more frustration that you are willing to handle to make your dreams come true and also make the dreams come true of others that's following you? You're going to give up on that? Natasha Gates, I'm telling you what you're doing is a legacy. I'm glad that you put that post out and I'm glad you took the action that you took. This is Moria Bird. Click the link down below. I'll see you guys on the other side because the grass is greener here. Peace, love, and hair grease. Love you guys.